Gold rare. Man, I'm grinding like it's 1989. I'm gonna put you on a two-day Kaizen, son. Denver you. <laughs> oh. Guys, stop everything. Yeah, I got a new phone from Gemba on down the street. It's flips. Like two ways. Plus Bluetooth. Oh yeah. And by the way, sweet mic that came with it. Wow Josh, that's uh that's quite a deal you got there. I know. Is that a, is that on the 3G network? No. Uh 5S network. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go play with it in my room. Man, the screen resolution on this just isn't the best. Oh, call. Hello? Yes, hello. Is this Joshua Kiel? Yes. This is Mr. Chang. You win book review for you and three friends. A book review? That's awesome. This day just keeps getting better. First a new phone, now a book review? Let's go. Guys, guys. Just want a book review. Got a phone call on my new phone, and I get to bring three people. Nice! Yeah. But, who should I take? Damien. Nice! Nick. Yes! And T-Pain! Awesome. Let's, do, let's go suit up. I hope we get to do this on a boat. Get your reading glasses on, it's about to go down. Get your bookmarks ready, and your read lights on. This book is real! Really sucks T-Pain couldn't make it, guys. Yeah, I'm just having that guy around. That's name. I heard he's on a boat. Probably is. You guys ready to get started? Yeah. Alright, All right. well thank you viewers for joining us this afternoon in our weekly book review segment. This week we'll be taking a look at Gemba Kaizen, a common sense, low cost approach to management. Now, this book is a sequel to the blockbuster Kaizen, written by the same author, Masakai Imai. Alright, I think we can lose the Borat accent for the rest of the review. Well Nick, I can only do so much, so Josh, why don't you give us a quick summary? That would be it. lovely. I'll get us started here. Gemba Kaizen is a uh, beautiful story about two brothers. Gemba and Kaizen. Gemba and Kaizen... Wait, 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 wait. Josh, you know this book isn't about real people, don't you? Did you even read it? Yeah, so Gemba and Kaizen are brothers? Josh, Gemba and Kaizen are Japanese words, not Japanese people. So Gemba means... Gemba's a workplace, like a manufacturing plant or like production layout. Right, and Kaizen? It's continuous improvement that takes place in Gemba. Oh, now I get it. Gemba Kaizen, alright. Gemba Kaizen um, follows, as we mentioned, the uh, previous novel. Um, they talk about QCD, um, the visual management. We have five M's and the five S's. Um, they also go through um, waste and uh, muda as it's referred to in the book, and uh, just in time, and there's also a two-day Kaizen event that's covered. So. Awesome. Um, yeah, so Damien, what parts of the book did you enjoy? Well, there was a lot of stuff in this book, Josh, as you, as you covered. Um, I think my favorite thing about this book was probably the last quarter of the book. It was mostly case studies from real events, at real businesses, uh, showing how Gemba Kaizen was implemented and improvements that they made, whether it be on costs um, or productivity. So even with 5S, they would show how that was implemented at, uh, at a certain place. I also enjoyed the house of Gemba. Uh, they took us all around the house in the book. We started at the foundation, got to see the roots, took the stairs right up to the top, and just saw how the house of Gemba was built. It was, uh, it was quite lovely. Yeah. To go along with what you're saying, I like the examples throughout the book. It's kind of broke up the theory portion that was going on. Uh, we really got to see what Amai did in his day-to-day -day activities, 
when he was trying to enforce these Kaizen ideas. And I also did like the five S's, they are pretty effective and all of them are pretty fun. Shitsuki was so hot. No way, Siri. Man. Yeah. Okay, so I like the development of QCD throughout the book. Um, lots of uh, implementation examples that were relevant. Um, yeah, that was definitely my favorite part. Alright, so what, what did you not like about the book then? Well, personally, I just thought there was too much waste all over the book, like Muda, 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 rocking everywhere. It was just all over the place. They had Muda of inventory, of overproduction, of whatever, just too much, just filling up the book with Muda. I felt like I was taking a shower and it was crazy. I also didn't like Just In Time. Like, I thought of Just In Time as, well, let's personalize him, Just In Time. So he kind of seemed like just an add-in, like, oh, here's a strange little character we'll throw into the book just to give it some more pages or something. I didn't really think it fit too well with the rest of the book. What about you, Nick? Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to disagree with what you said earlier. I just don't like House of Gamba. Sure, it's a nice house, but I've seen nicer, really. It's... All right. Well, for me, it was the 5Ms. Um, Kind of makes sense, but there's only really the theory there, not a lot of application techniques. Um, and I also agree with Nick on the host of Gamba. Haters! This is too much. That part was trash. Let's just move on with our ratings and our final thoughts. I'll just start. Uh, I don't know about this book. Really, like, it seems like these Japanese theories, and they seem pretty simplistic to, uh, to us. I think we're all, we're all smart guys. I think we realize what's going on. This book is a lot of fluff, not a lot of filler. So I'm going to have to give it 3 out of 5 gamas. What do you think, Nick? Well, to get my review, I'm going to have to go back to my good friend Donald Trump here and pretty much just say, You hired, Gamba. You hired. Hired? That's what I said. You hired. Okay. Um, I think overall the book kept my interest. So I'm going to give it 3 out of 4 Michelin X Ice tires. That's pretty good. message and T-Pain his ratings in guys it's perfect timing um, he rates this book 4 out of 5 votes that's a very good rating for him nice for sure out of point T-Pain keep it up work hard alright guys well thanks for your opinions uh, let's wrap it up this week thank you for joining us here for our lovely review of Gamba Kaizen we'll be back next week to review another Gold Rat production from a hot young trio from Nadia DJ Dejani, Felipe Gonzalez Artigas Bustamante, and Richard Richie Boy Joseph. Farewell. <laughs>